Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making some chili cheese pasta. Now, usually when I make chili, I put beans in it, but we're doing no beans today. So I got about a little over two pounds of 80-20 ground beef. Then I have a half of a medium onion minced, really, really fine, pretty much pureed it. Uh, I put this in my food processor and just went to town on it. Two tablespoons of minced garlic. We're gonna need one six ounce can of tomato paste. Now we're gonna need three tablespoons of some type of chili powder. This is California chili powder. This adds a really good flavor. This doesn't have the spice though. This is gonna add a nice color to the food and it's gonna make this chili just that dark red that a chili should look like. But this does not bring the spice. To actually give the spice, I actually have one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So three tablespoons of California chili powder, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you want this a little bit spicier, go ahead and add another teaspoon of cayenne pepper or to your choice. We're also gonna need one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna need some pasta of your choice. Doesn't matter what kind you get. Now we're gonna need two thirds of a pound of mild cheddar cheese. And on the other side, I got eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Now we are using some of that cheese for toppings. So for the toppings, we're gonna be adding a little bit of green onion on top, along with some sour cream. We're also gonna need two cups of beef stock or beef broth, whatever you have in hand. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of oil. I got this about medium heat. I'm gonna let this heat up for about a couple minutes. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our beef. And just break up your beef. Go ahead and season with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm not gonna go too heavy on the salt and pepper because I'm going to actually check for seasoning later because we are gonna be adding in a lot more ingredients to this. So we're gonna go ahead and add in our minced onions along with our minced garlic. We're gonna go ahead and just give this a mix. Okay, so now that we got everything incorporated, we're just gonna go ahead and brown all sides. You wanna make sure as it's cooking that you wanna break up the ground beef. Now just as your beef's cooking, you wanna go ahead and just break up your beef. Go ahead and give it a mix. You wanna make sure you brown everything up. All right, so once you get everything browned up, you wanna make sure that you break apart any little chunks that you see of hamburger meat that's uh, kind of cooking together. Okay, so now that we got it to what we want it to look like, we're gonna go ahead and add in our tomato paste. We're gonna go ahead and add in our chili powder, our cayenne, paprika, and our cumin. We're gonna go ahead and just mix all this together. Now, if you wanted a little bit more of a darker red, now depending on how dark of a red this looks, I'll add, I will add a little bit more chili powder to it. But with that tomato paste and with the chili powder that I've already put in there, that should be enough. It smells good, y'all, let me tell you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in our beef stock. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this come to temperature. And actually right now is the time that you wanna check to see if you need any seasoning. Okay, go ahead and check for seasoning. So it does need a little bit more salt. I taste the chili spices, but I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to see if that kinda blends everything uh, together. Just a tad bit more. I think a little sweetness would be good in this. Just a little hint of sweetness. Because I'm getting the chili spices. Alright, so I'm going to call an audible on this one. And I'm going to add one tablespoon of garlic powder along with two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a mix and let this come to the simmer. That's perfect right there. Just that change up with adding that brown sugar to it really brightened the flavor. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil or simmer 
and then we're gonna be adding in our pasta. So give this a couple minutes. As soon as it comes to a boil or a slight boil, we'll add our pasta in there. So we have our chili to a, a boiling point. Now you wanna cook your pasta to the lowest setting. So I have about seven minutes it says right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our pasta in. And we're gonna just let this cook for seven minutes just until this pasta gets al dente. So we're gonna cover this up and we're gonna let it do its thing. So I'll catch you back in about seven minutes. All right, after our timer is up, we just wanna check to make sure that the noodles are completely cooked. Now, I stirred this a couple of times. You do wanna make sure that you stir. Perfect. Go ahead and turn this off. Let this sit for a couple minutes. So I have the heat off. Now I am gonna just cover this. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna give the noodles a couple of minutes just to kind of cook a little bit more. All right, after a couple minutes, I should have gave it enough time to finish off that pasta. Now we're gonna take some handfuls of cheese and we're gonna just sprinkle in this. This is gonna be really gooey. That's what I'm aiming for. So I'm probably gonna put about half of this mild cheddar and about half of this sharp cheddar inside here and give everything a mix. Now I want this really gooey, so that's why I'm you know, putting the cheese in there. You know what I'm calling an audible, folks? This demands some cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of that sharp cheddar in there. I do wanna save a little bit of the mild cheddar for, for topping you know, the top of the bowls. Go ahead, another handful of that mild cheddar. that cheesiness oh yeah that's gonna be really good all right let's serve this up y'all just like any chili you want to make sure you get a hearty scoop of that goodness I took a little taste of this stuff and man it is yummy go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of cheddar cheese right there on top Put a nice little scoop of sour cream right there in the middle. Just for a pop of little color, go ahead and add a little bit of green onions right there on top. That right there, folks, is my chili cheese pasta. All I have to say is this smells really good. It looks yummy. Let's go ahead and get a bite of all this goodness. Cheers, y'all. Hmm. Just some good old southwestern food right there. Mmm. And I got a lot of cheese in there. You taste the cheese, but you get that spice. The spice does kick in at the end, but it, it's got an overall really good flavor. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button that we can see future videos just like this. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section so that we can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com, to get the full printable recipe. I have these recipes, they're really good, you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful, and take care.